Nora Ephron once said, when you went to a dinner party in the 80s in New York City, you were always served chicken marbella from the Silver Palette cookbook. I think that was probably true. It was really good, it was really easy, and it was very interesting. So I decided I'm gonna revisit the recipe and update it, make sure it's as good as I remember. I did a few little tweaks that made all the difference in the world. So that's a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of red wine vinegar. I like French or Italian red wine vinegar, but use whichever one you think is the best that you feel comfortable buying. I've got one and a half cups of prunes. Yes, I know it's unusual, but it's really good. One cup of follows, and they're already pitted. Okay, next is half a cup of capers with the juices. Don't drain them. Six bay leaves. I use fresh ones if you can find them. If not, dry ones are fine too. Okay, next is garlic, and we're talking major garlic. One and a half heads of garlic. So I've got it all minced, I'm just gonna dump it in. I'm gonna show you how I did it, because it's really hard. This is one of those tasks that everybody hates. So I broke up one and a half heads of garlic, just like this. And what I do is I put them in a pot of boiling water, just for a few seconds. And you'll see, when they come out of the water, you can peel them really easily. So just take a small paring knife, cut off the stem, and the peel comes off really easily. So much easier than peeling a head of garlic, just like that. And you can either chop them or you can do it in a food processor. So much faster. Okay, next is quarter of a cup of dried oregano. Lots of salt, two tablespoons. Two teaspoons of pepper. So I'm gonna put the chicken right in. Okay, this is a messy job, but the best way to do it is with your hands. So just mix this all together until they're really well mixed. Okay, into the fridge. See you tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take this entire bowl of chicken and prunes and olives and capers and marinade and just put them in a big roasting pan. So now I just want the chicken skin side up just so it'll roast and the, the top will get nicely browned. One cup of white wine, I'm gonna pour it around the chicken, not over it. I want the oil that I put in the marinade to brown the chicken really nicely. And this is an unusual ingredient, brown sugar. Just kind of caramelizes the top of the chicken. Okay, salt and pepper. And this is ready for the oven. So first I'll cook the chicken at 350 degrees for 50 minutes. When the internal temperature of the chicken is 145 degrees, I'll take it out of the oven. Cover the pan tightly with aluminum foil and allow it to sit for 15 minutes. So the chicken marbella is rested. It smells so good, all the garlic and the spices. Look how good that looks. Isn't that amazing? So first thing I'm gonna do is take the bay leaves and toss them out, because you don't want to serve bay leaves. And now I'm gonna put it on a serving platter. The big pieces on first and then smaller pieces around it. And trust me, your friends are gonna love it, and they're never gonna know how easy it was to make. How good does that look? And I have to try an olive. Mm. Incredible.